If you're not a fan of the zoom effects found on the iPad and iPhone, but love iOS 10's new message effects, you previously had a bit of a problem. That's because iMessage effects wouldn't work while reduced motion was enabled. Fortunately, that's no longer the case. From iOS 10.1, it's been possible to enjoy the best of both worlds. So, in this quick tips video, I'm going to show you how to use message effects with reduced motion on. So, let's get started. If you're wondering why you may want reduced motion turned on, it's because it removes all of the zooms and animations into and out of apps, which can make some people feel motion sickness. On older iOS devices, these effects can also make your iPhone or iPad feel unnecessarily slow. First, open up the settings app and head to general and accessibility. Then choose reduce motion and switch the toggle to on if it isn't already. Once enabled, a new option will appear to autoplay message effects. Make sure that's switched on and it's as simple as that. The transitions will now be a lot smoother whilst retaining the fun message animations. Well, that's it for this quick tips video. If you found it useful, go ahead and hit that like button. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss a single video from Cult of Map. I'll catch you in the next one.